Okay, so uh, welcome to Let's Talk About It. We're going to stay in um, Australia, well, geographically down under today. And um, hopefully you will be able to hear my voice in this session, <laughs> in the stream anyway. I, honestly, 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 to people who contacted me about the stream from yesterday's session, everybody here could hear me. It's just it didn't carry across into the stream so i'm sorry if you were disappointed but you can hear you can listen to april and monique and marco and <laughs> everybody else who spoke yesterday it's just you won't hear me which some people might think bonus <laughs> april you just mentioned you'd watched a funny video about melbourne No, actually, it's not really funny, funny for me, but not for that person who were in the clips. It was, it happened in Melbourne, uh, in the traffic. Uh, he was on the motor, on a motorbike, on a motorbike, and uh, he r rode uh, in, the, in the tunnel. And uh, in front of him, it was a, a, a truck. And uh, said a, a truck fo uh, full with uh, everything, maybe somebody who is uh, moving a house. And uh, suddenly uh, a mattress flew away from that truck and just uh, uh, fall, uh, fell, no, fall, fell, just fell uh, in front of his bike. And uh, that way that uh, uh, he fell because uh, he couldn't uh, uh, drive uh, further on. But luckily, because of the mattress, flew off the truck, yeah? because of the mattress, he fell on the mattress. And that way, he didn't hurt himself, only uh, some scratches. But uh, luckily, it was not that uh busy that that crowded the, in that tunnel because it was a, a, actually a, a motorway and uh, no no car just uh, uh, behind him it is was uh, quite further and uh, that person stopped uh, his car and help him otherwise the other cars couldn't stop uh, luckily that that uh, car could stop uh, in time just uh, to uh, to avoid uh, worse things happen but it was so funny watching that uh, mattress flew off <laughs> flew off the truck and just in front of him and <laughs> and he fell just on the mattress <laughs> perfect uh, what well, we call uh, a soft landing <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, not, not nice, landing. still not nice, losing control of your bike. Um, yeah, be careful, of, he rode in a tunnel. Um, he was in a tunnel, but he rode into the tunnel. There's a slight difference between in and into, okay? Um, so, yeah, no, I, I don't tend to watch videos like that because of my history. I don't like accidents. And there's lots of television programmes on, though, that will show videos, I think it's called Dogs Make You Laugh Out Loud, Cats Make You Laugh Out Loud, Babies Make You Laugh Out Loud, and uh, weddings make, normally it's people falling over at weddings and stuff. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of those kind of videos, April? Come on, be honest. <laughs> no, no, no. no it, was, it was actually not in YouTube, it was in the news, So, and uh, the title was quite... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, I'll let you so that's then. why I think, oh, what is it? Yeah, it makes you curious, actually. Yeah, we do say it was on the news. Sorry. In, on, into, in. Oh, prepositions. No. Sorry, money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scream. <laughs> okay, today we're going to um, talk about rivalry down under and there's rivalry within australia between two major cities any idea which two major cities are considered real rivals so rivalry and to be rivals
Yeah, well done, Rima. Yes, Melbourne and Sydney. Not Sydney. They might sound like it's Sydney. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Sydney. <laughs> but it's Sydney. <laughs> and it's actually with a Y. Sorry, Monique. So with an I, Sydney is an old fashioned kind of name. In fact, I don't know any Sydneys. I don't know one Sydney, but I know it was a name once. But Sydney, the place, because it's often um, shortened to Sid. OK, but Sydney, the place is with a Y at the beginning and the end. So it's yeah, that's a difficult one. OK, so I need some readers and you all pretty much arrived at once. I think Shiny, you were already here, though. So I will ask you if can you read today, Shiny? I heard your voice earlier, but are you okay to read today? Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, we're going to look at a little bit at the historic rivalry between Sydney and Melbourne, uh, some of the consequences of that. And also we're going to have a listen to a couple of people talking about Down Under. Okay, um, so we'll see how far we get. If we don't finish, we'll carry on next week and then I promise you will be done with Down Under. <laughs> but this was, I just found this stuff and I was like, oh no, this is too good. I need to uh, include this in, in our so session is, on Australia. It's still funny. Which, 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 what, 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 Rima? <laughs> it is, no need to promise us, it's so funny. Okay. Uh, for me, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. okay. No funny need, or no fun? Need to stop. <laughs> Yeah, we'll Sorry. run out. We'll run out of stuff to say eventually, unless Zom <laughs> comes to rescue us. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. shiny. Here's your little bit of text. If you'd like to start reading. In corner, we have Sydney, the capital city of New South Wales. In the other corner is Melbourne, the capital of Victoria. The rivalry between the, the Australian cities is intense, intense, and it's going to intensify because a new report suggests that the Victorian metropolis will overtake, overtake its more famous New South Wales counterpart as Australia's largest city by 2040. Very good. Well done. OK, so it's not metropolis. There's no police. Well, there are probably police there, but it's metropolis. That's it's slightly different stress. Metropolis, metropolis. Try it. Metropolis. Very good. Hello, Traum. You're a grey person for me today, but never mind. <laughs> Everybody else is OK, but you've come in grey. <laughs> I hope you've got your kitchen back. <laughs> Any questions? Does everybody understand what a metropolis is? Can anyone describe another metropolis or name another metropolis? Big city, capital. Yeah, it's it's not so much about being the capital though, a big city, okay, chief city. Um, it can be the capital of a country or a region as well, but it can also just mean very large, very busy. There's a famous, uh, famous old black and white. Honestly, I haven't seen the original film. I'm not that old. Uh, called Metropolis. And uh, it's what, what they call the classic. It's called Fritz Lang's Metropolis now because Fritz Lang was the director. Tokyo. Very good. Yeah. Tokyo is a metropolis. Um, of course, London, New York. Now, New York is a metropolis, but of course, it's not actually really. It's not the capital of America. OK. And just because you're a capital city does not mean you're a metropolis. Uh, you have to be kind of it indicates modern um and busy and yeah most large cities um if you think of the term concrete jungle can you imagine what a concrete jun jungle is oh 
urban jungle. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's basically very built up. Concrete being a building material. So I don't live in a concrete jungle, even though the area I live in is house after house after house. But it's not a concrete jungle. It's suburbs. I am a suburban <laughs> I can't say I'm a housewife because I'm not very much of a housewife at all, but I live in the burbs, in the suburbs. Not a concrete jungle, though. A concrete jungle would be Frankfurt itself, where you've got all the big high-rise buildings, like great big trees all growing up around you. So Metropolis tends to have this, close your eyes and you think of a concrete jungle, okay? And Frank Sinatra is New York, New York, a wonderful town. Absolutely. <laughs> Was it the, some, the Bronx is up and the batteries down? People ride in a hole in the ground? Something like that anyway. <laughs> okay, so the two main cities, major cities, two major metropolises in Australia. Uh, Rima, I think you were the next. Oh, Rima, take the mic. Uh, um, I didn't understand. I understand actually, but is it like uh, that this sentence has mistake maybe? Victorian me Metropolis will, will overtake its more famous, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't say what will. Uh, uh, they did. It's uh, not it is. Mm -hmm. This is the possessive. It's oh, we're on to the possessive, the genitive. Aha! Where's tough guy when you need him? OK, <laughs> it's more famous New South Wales counterpart. OK, the Victorian metropolis, it's, which is the capital, which it's, is it's object. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Melbourne being the Victorian metropolis. So Melbourne will overtake its more famous New South Wales counterpart. So Melbourne will overtake Sydney. That's how you could cut that down, the wordiness there. OK, um, it just could be reduced to Melbourne will overtake Sydney as Australia's largest city by 2040. OK, does that make more sense? Uh, we'll, we'll overtake this title, like to be like... Yeah, we'll overtake okay. the title of the title mm -hmm. of um, Australia's largest city. Because we're talking largest by uh, population and maybe by square metres or square footage, how much area it covers. I'm not sure where they're, um, where they're actually drawing the line to what constitutes the largest city. Probably population, OK? Population, yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, Rima, if you'd like to read the next paragraph. Okay. Uh, the main reason is that Victoria is attracting immigrants in record numbers and building new homes at twice the rate of New South Wales. Right now, there are about half a million more people in Sydney than there are in Melbourne, but that's going to change says the report by the business research company um, B.I.S. Shrepnel. Very good. Well done, B.I.S. Uh, temptation to say this, but they're all in capitals. So it kind of indicates B.I.S. OK, very good. Very this. well read. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, if I, I've just written up two words with a little clue to the pronunciation. Can you read them out? The two words? Uh, so, uh, see, uh, record numbers. Record numbers. Re record. Re yeah. Re uh, to oh. record, to record is the verb. Um, verb. But yeah. when you're using record or as a noun or as an adjective, so a record. They recorded a record. Um, Traum has gone through this before. <laughs> the Beatles. Yeah. Okay, try this one. The Beatles recorded many records and broke the record for the number of records recorded. 
Okay, try that one, mm. Rima. <laughs> Who is that? That easy one, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Beatles recorded many records and broke the record for the number of uh, records recorded. Perfect. Well done. Well done. <laughs> it is something you have to train your brain to accept and to do. Okay. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. Bravo, as Shiny says. <laughs> okay, Monique. I think you were the next one to talk to me. So here is your text. Um, okay. Uh, the, the report title Going Nowhere says that from 2020 onwards New South Wales will face the demographic challenge of an aging population. Lower immigration and a greater likelihood economic growth will decline alarmingly. Meanwhile, Melbourne, which is seen as an increasingly attractive urban option for young families and immigrants, will grow and its population will climb to 5.7 million by 2037, says the report. Okay, good. So, from in a couple of years' time, in a few years' time, I don't know what the demographics are right now. I couldn't find any recent um, reports on actual demographics, but it's a trend. They're looking at trends. And well done for not getting caught out by the report. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so this one, you've got the record and to record, and then you've got the report and to report. So it doesn't always go that there's a change or a shift in pronunciation. This is stuff you have to learn and get a feeling for. Okay. Shiny, who are you asking? Moi? Me? Everyone. Okay, well, let's do a little quick poll. Type yes or no if you would like to live there. I presume you mean by there, Australia. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Traum. May I ask for something? Uh, yeah, once you've voted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, Monique. <laughs> I'm not sure, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Were you waiting for me to make you an offer? <laughs> April, Shiny, you've got to vote as well. You've got to vote as well. Oh, my goodness. You're all sitting on the fence. <laughs> Trump, um, you still have to vote, I think. Would you like to live in Australia? Sorry, I, I, to be honest, I didn't understand the question. Oh, I see. I, 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 could you repeat it, please? Yeah, would you like to Sorry. live in Australia? Would you move to Australia to live? Not to visit, to live. Okay. Okay, not sure. You'd have to write there. Not no sure. Not as it's well done, not sure. Okay, well, you're all, you're all, um, you'd want to try it. Oh, you could try, um, there's a TV program. I Holly, think it's a BBC program. No, 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 there's a TV program. It's called Wanted Down Under. You could apply to be on Wanted Down Under. Um, it's a TV program that follows, okay, British families, but they could go global. Uh, and lets them try out and also gives them the sort of uh, financial costs and breakdowns of living in Australia with their family. It's really quite sweet. I've seen a couple of episodes. I can't watch them all because they're all a bit samey. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. But I'm a definite no. Anybody? Shiny, you asked the question. Why do you think I said no? Why am I so... You're all, I don't know, maybe, don't know. <laughs> Why am I a definite no? Any ideas? Because you have to drive car all the time and you can you can't meet uh, see people around you if you're alone. No, 
not necessarily. No, that's not it. You could say that of, the, of most countries if you don't go out much. <laughs> so, no, that's not it. Any ideas, anybody? So, Trown's saying it's very hot there, but that's not actually the reason because um, I know that it also has cooler climate. It's a big country. There are hot areas, there are cooler areas. Monique, were you saying something? I don't know about the climate, but no. You oh, the climate, that. okay. Because they speak Strine. No, you know I'm not a language snob. However, there's part of it. I don't speak Strine. I sound very British, but I'd still fit in in some areas. Um, they'd quite like my accent. In other areas, they probably wouldn't. You'd miss your mountains. Say they've got mountains in Australia. They've even got skiing. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute. Remember, it's a big country. <laughs> no, my, my reason is everything in Australia seems to want to kill you. Um, so many sharks. poisonous <laughs> things. Not, not so much the sharks. You can avoid the sharks by not going into the sea or the ocean. But you can't avoid the spiders hiding in your boots or the snakes under the toilet seat. I mean, that just oh, no, freaks no, me out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I hate that. <laughs> yeah, that depends where you live, Shiny. I mean, obviously, if you live in the outback, you're miles from nowhere. You're in the middle of nowhere. But if you're in Sydney or Melbourne or Perth, the bigger cities, you've got the same urban landscape as most places. No, it is the creepy crawlies and the poisonous things uh, trying to kill you. That to me tells me that really Australia doesn't want us there when nature is against you. I always think we should take a little bit of a step back and ask ourselves why. <laughs> Loose things, absolutely. Things are hiding. It was bad enough being in South Africa and having to shake my boots out every morning. I was like, I don't like this. I don't like because you always think, have I shaken hard enough? <laughs> Is there a tarantula still in there? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, April, you think Sydney is just like, not just as, uh, you could say just as good as here or just like here, if not better. Maybe, maybe, but still wouldn't, I wouldn't mind visiting, but I would not want to live there for the reasons as stated above. <laughs> okay, I want you to watch an advert now for a place and I want you to tell me um, before you get to the end of the advert, as you're watching the advert, I want you to tell me what it's about, okay? And I want you to tell me what it's trying to say. Good luck. Haben Sie noch alle?
<laughs> okay, so I just put a note up in case people were watching the stream. <laughs> thinking, oh no, I've lost sound again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a romantic. Yeah, what what did you think when you were watching it? When you first started watching it. Oh, I I I think to a, mo a man and a woman found them found to each other, found to each other. Yeah, yeah, they they found each other. A chance to but communicate I, I with say, people. What yeah. has it to do with Australia? Then? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's it, this was an advert created by the Melbourne authorities to say to people, come to Melbourne. Uh, and it's something like the, the slogan was lose yourself. Uh, it's easy to lose yourself in Melbourne. It was a video to promote Melbourne. Weirdest video. <laughs> Promotional video. I preferred the where the bloody hell are you? <laughs> but yeah, so I thought that was kind of interesting. I'm not sure if Melbourne's going to beat Sydney anytime soon. <laughs> OK, so. Any questions? Apart from what what the hell was that about? <laughs> Perfect for singles. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I did I would have thought it would make a great dating app video. Um <laughs> Not so much. Uh, I mean, who wants to lose themselves in a city anyway? I mean, OK, they mean metaphorically lose yourself as in get rid of all. You lose yourself in a good book. You can lose yourself in a film. But to lose yourself in a city is to me is a little more sinister, to be honest. I don't want to get lost. <laughs> but someone will find you. Mm, maybe, maybe. Like beginning, you will lose and the last... Uh... The second part of the sentence, like continuous, uh, someone will find you. Very possibly, you. very possibly. Now, it, whilst this is going on, this rival, you got lost in Tokyo. Was that metaphorically or literally, <laughs> April? <laughs> no, I was, I got really lost in Tokyo. Me neither, you... You too. You mean, me neither are you too shiny, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like, um, uh, they, they said that already in Lonely Planet, Planet they say they, uh, in Tokyo, the streets are not mm, square. So, uh, if you just follow the street, it doesn't mean that you will you will find the the other. Uh, so if it is a square and you just uh, follow the street, you will be back at the point where you started. But it was not like that in Tokyo. So that's why uh, I got lost because I think I was. Uh, was this before Google Maps? I could, I could go back. <laughs> Before yeah, I, before before I had uh, I, even with Google Maps, Lynn, I will lost. All, I will lose also. I will get lost also. Okay, <laughs> help, even I with think. Google Maps, I would get lost because you're not actually going to do it. Yeah, uh, I will get lost. Would mean you're going back there, and you know that you're going to get lost again. Uh, but uh, I think Google Maps might help. A little bit but yeah we have a name for streets and areas like that we call them a rabbit warren yeah it's like a rabbit warren very confusing streets leading to different places backing and going back on themselves dead ends we call it a rabbit warren okay okay so the um, Sydney Melbourne fight Melbourne's even created a video to attract people to Melbourne. What do you think Sydney's reaction is to this um, 
drive by Melbourne to get people to move there? What do you think? Sid how do you think Sydney would react? Would have reacted to that? Any ideas? And they are rivals. Lamb. <laughs> what offering free lamb or? <laughs> Yeah, that tends to be Australia in general and New Zealand versus Australia. We'll come to that uh, in a, a bit later. Maybe today, maybe next week. Any ideas? Traum, take the mic. Yeah, uh, Sydney is is uh, Sydney is uh, a, mo a metropole for musicians, as far as I know. Um, they would attract and would uh, perform more. Uh, things that the world would, is interested in, I, I could imagine. Okay, um, yeah. Sydney is... Because the Opera House. Sydney is more famous. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. yes I, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's great. I think uh, Sydney is a, a very famous city. It's, um, yeah, it's... Uh, they, will, they will maybe attract uh, people from around the world because of the opera and what you say, the Sydney Opera House and so. Okay, that, you, that might, could be, yeah. uh, you might be in for a bit of a surprise then, Traum. April, I think you're next to read, aren't you? So, April, here's a little bit of text for you. Uh, Monica said they will defend their place, of course. Yeah, they'll want to be top. Or will they? April, if you'd like to read this text. Sydney is Australia's most popular city. So why are people being asked to ask to move away from it? To many residents, Sydney offers the best of what they'll find in Australia. Sunshine, beaches, cu cultural events, shopping and business opportunities. But the city is big. It's 4.5 million inhabitants amount to nearly one qu quarter of all Australians. And it's expensive. Very uh. good. Well done. Okay. It's a, a, nicely read. Just one thing you're having a problem with still, um, to be asked to do something. Because you've got the two, to ask someone to do something or to be asked to do something. So you've got to get that asked to. You've got to have the two separate, not ask to. That's... Not how we pronounce it. To be asked to do something. Try again. To be asked to do something. Yeah, you still need to get that asked to. Asked to. <laughs> it's difficult, I know. It's your tongue is going from the sk to the t very quickly. Sked. Sked. Asked to do something. Monique, take the mic. Were you surprised? I asked. No, no, yeah, no, I, maybe. It's a bit, they are discouraged people. Yeah. <laughs> so the other way. Go away. Um, no, I was thinking, exactly. That we don't need more, more people here. No, I was thinking about that ask because um, we were talking about that before. I don't know. Maybe it was with the Americans. And and actually, when, I, when I'm watching TV, it's hard just to to catch what you yeah. are doing i mean usually you don't you don't hear asked you know? <laughs> because I but mean, it is there slow it down yeah slow it down you'll hear it slowly yeah you will hear it okay Otherwise, well i'll say it quickly you, you for won't. you to be asked to do something but if you slow that down in fact i will say it in the way i would mm -hmm. say it because i always say the ask because i'm posh so to be asked to do something and it's there asked to do asked to do and I've got the asked because it's you've really got to move that tongue very quickly. Yeah. What do you, what yeah. do you, what did he? Uh, you can't do it in the past because it's what did he ask me to do? Um, uh, I was asked to cover the double genitive. Yeah. It's really quick, admittedly, but you yeah. kind of need and it sometimes because otherwise it sounds like I was asked to. I was asked to. <laughs> yeah. I hate that. But sometimes you don't even hear the, the K letter, you know? That's, yeah, that's just know. bad that pronunciation. Yeah, there are television, people out there. Uh, and television, you know, it's like a, I asked to, you know, but you hear the asked, but you don't hear the asked. You know what I mean? 
So uh, anyway, it's uh, I hate that word, by the way. OK, no, no, no. It's, it's a toughie. It is a toughie. And that's why I'm not asking April to repeat it, because it's really up to the individual whether they want to get uh -huh. that. But it is worth doing it because it's called good diction. OK. <laughs> yeah. And it makes it clear that it's the past. Just ask it. <laughs> ask it. Because that's horrible. Ask it to do <laughs> I agree. It would be easier to say, but honestly, it sounds horrible to my ear. <laughs> and we say basket. Why can't we say ask it? <laughs> but we can't. I'm sorry. But as I say, it is very true what Monique said. Lots of people don't bother. However, um, it doesn't sound good. And I certainly would catch it as, ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> Do you mean that uh, my D... At the D ending sounds more like tealing. I I'm saying it doesn't sound. What was my what yeah, was it, my? It wasn't there at all. Uh, it wasn't there at all. You can have a listen to the recording, okay. But when you say it, it's like Lynn ask me to. Uh, now that would be Lynn asks me to, okay. But Lynn asked me to, asked me to, and that's asked me to, okay. Asked. Rima, take the mic. We could do this for the rest of the lesson, couldn't we? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I am here to stop this. <laughs> but, uh, oh, <laughs> Rima's going to be referee. Go on, Rima. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it's 4.5 million inhabitants amount. Is here amount uh, verb? Yeah, to amount because to something, yes. It, uh, equals. It's a verb. It equals, yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Strange use of it, yes. Uh, sometimes we say it about people. Um, you'll never amount to anything. Okay. It means you'll never do anything in your life. Okay. So it's being used um, as a, a verb to say um, what it will become. Okay. To come to be. We use it a lot in... Um, mathematics yeah so um let me think Whew, uh, the national debt amounts to over oh i think it's trillions of pounds now <laughs> sad in it anybody know what the national debt of the uk is uh, uh national debt of the uk Okay, the national debt of the UK amounts to 90.6% of GDP, or the national debt in 2013, I should say. Oh, the national debt clock, here it is. So, the UK national debt amounts to over um, one trillion pounds. <gasps> How is going? Do you want to watch something really scary? Watch that. You want to see big numbers going up? The growth amounts to a rate of £5,170 per second. That, was an, that, that sentence just cost the national debt thousands. <laughs> so to amount to, to equal. It is scary. It is terrifying, <laughs> I know. They shouldn't be allowed to put it online, to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> and you could just lose yourself watching that, couldn't you? <laughs> Panic! <laughs> Okay, so Sydney's trying to get rid of people. Go away, go away. I know, Traum, I know. Okay, so uh, next person to read. I think we've gone all the way around now, haven't we? Traum, have you read? Yes. No, Traum. Traum, no. Okay, okay Traum. Your turn. Yes, <laughs> Thank you, Monique. <laughs> okay. The government of New South Wales... The state that contains Sydney is hoping to persu persuade some of the city's residents to move into the countryside, where the population is sparse and the prices are cheaper. It's offering Australian dollars 7,000, that would be 5,200 euros, to anyone who moves permanently in the next four years. Very good. Well done. And well done for the um, persuades. You, you, uh, you did a beautiful recovery on that. Nicely corrected. 
Nicely corrected. Okay, sparse. Um, when we were in the bush, if you noticed, there was uh, uh, the population was very sparse. Not much. Not not many. Not much. Okay, so a sparse area, uh, sparse farmland. It would just been there's not a lot there. Okay, uh, the population is sparse. There's it's not a high population. Okay. Okay, sparse now, could be a, a, a crowd, and it also could be bushes. It can people. be all sorts of things. It can be hair. <laughs> nice way of saying somebody's not got much hair. <laughs> okay. Thinly scattered as well, it can mean. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So sparse hairline uh, could mean there's not a lot of hair there. <laughs> A sparse beard. Oh, yeah, sparse beard. That's a good one. My nephew, when he first grew a beard, he had to shave it off. It was so sparse. It was just, it made him look like Scrappy Doo out of, uh, Scrappy out of Scooby Doo. <laughs> it was so sparse. It wasn't worth growing. I hope he never watches this. <laughs> It'd kill me. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the other thing I noticed, Tram, was you did very well in 5,200 euros, but because you've got, oh no, a, a and a dollar sign, what does that mean? Panic, panic. It's just the same as saying euros or pounds or dollars. It's just 7,000 Australian dollars. Okay, so try it again. It's 7,000 Australian dollars. That's it, yeah. Don't let the fact it says a dollar confuse you it's just the same as 10 pounds six thousand dollars um one million one trillion whatever dollars okay one million dollars seven thousand australian dollars uh rima take the mic and um, uh, have you read somewhere do, or do you have information to uh do they did they uh accept this uh, offer i honestly like don't know whether those capital. figures are online or not sometimes you have to write to the government um, and i don't know if australia's got a freedom freedom of information act so i wouldn't know who to write to either how many people took up this offer of residency outside sydney but you notice they're not paying people money to move to melbourne they didn't go that far <laughs> Yes, but but maybe some villages near near Sydney, maybe yes. Yeah, they, absolutely. They, because maybe like uh, I read that it was uh, in London when uh, London was so crowded, they uh, gave offer. I don't know if the, it was offer or it was compulsory for someone to um, replace to remove uh somewhere else in uh, mk dons i know about that club and uh, i think that it was uh settled by londoners yeah i, I mean i mean in, in, in all honesty these cities have still got the same problems as most urban cities too many people not enough properties um normally a government would allow property prices to decide who's going to move into an area and who's going to move out of an area. Uh, but obviously Sydney dis had the feeling that they needed to do something more active than that. Um, and yeah, I, I, I don't know whether it's a good idea. The problem is when you're doing this, it, it pushes people out of the city and they turn green areas into suburban areas. And um, I'm afraid in this area where I live now in Germany, it wasn't that way when we first moved here, but it is now under pressure. There's not enough property for people to live. Um, it's a shame we live in such a small house because if we could turn it into flats, we'd make a fortune. <laughs> but no, I don't know how successful this particular initiative was. Um, I couldn't find any information on it. so. I have no idea. We'll have to just maybe if, maybe if they offer just more. <laughs> yeah, it's going to say because it's not a lot, is it? Really, five thousand euros. Um, 
And if they offered free accommodation, that would probably move people out more quickly. But um, anyway, so Shiny, would you like to finish this bit of text by reading this? Please. Although Sydney is expected to grow by 40% by mid-century, the reason has less to do with relieving the burden on the city than with helping rural communities. A decade-long drought known as the Big Dry caused many people to leave the outback Authorities hope that the arrival of new residents will get the rural economy going again. Very good. Well done. A couple of words for you. Okay. First one is another of these sounds. Expected. 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 Yeah. So if you think about expect, yeah, England expects. You've got that kt, Yeah. So then you can't lose that in expected. I, I expect you to say expected. So try this. I ex all in expects me to say ex expected. Try that. Lin expect me to say expected. <laughs> yeah, you've got a problem. You've definitely got a problem there. Have a listen to yourself. I know in your head you're saying it. When it comes, by the time it pops out of your mouth, it's not there anymore. Okay. So have a listen to the recording. Um, I think we're, I don't know, can I see how far in we are? I don't think it actually tells me. Oh, yeah, 47 minutes in. So 47 minutes in. See, that's cool. 47 minutes into the recording. Have a listen. You'll hear. I expect hair. <laughs> Expected, okay? Lynn expects and expected. But you can practice it in your own time, okay? You can just give it a go and override what your brain's doing, okay? Okay, good. So, um, oh, mute, 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 mute. Any questions? I love the, the big dry, the big dry. That's very Australian, isn't it? Oh no, the big dry. What is the outback? Okay, can you remember when we were in a different area and it was very dry and red? Uh, red sandy area, very sparse oh, vegetation. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the outback. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. The big, wide open, dry spaces of Australia. And of course, it wasn't always like that. But um, the big dry, uh, which is basically a huge drought. I mean, you're talking years with no rain. It drove people. They couldn't, they could no longer sustain life on a farm. And they moved. The same thing happened in Australia. Um, with the big dust, the, the great, uh, when the dust bowls were created, um, and it ruined many farmers. Again, it's nature's way of telling us to bugger off, I think. But it's not nice when it happens to you, of course. OK, so. Um, which brings us to we've got this Melbourne, Sydney rivalry. And then we've got the capital. OK, can everybody remember the name of the capital? Can anybody type it up? I'll say it out loud. Yes, well done. Oh, definitely well done, April. Double R, Rima, Canberra. Can yeah, well done, double R. So where does Canberra fit into all this? Why, does anybody know why Canberra is the capital of Australia? Was it better geographically placed? Was it a nicer city? Is it cheaper, maybe? Any ideas? Or because of the financial um, 
it's a financial or center or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Well, actually, it didn't exist. And it's down to the rivalry between Melbourne and Sydney that it does exist. So let's do a little bit more reading. Um, Monique, if you'd like to read this text. Okay. Uh, you know what happens when two children are fighting over an object they both want. Uh, a, a, par uh, no. a parent or teacher comes along and says, if you two can't agree who gets this, then neither of you are going to have it. This is roughly speaking how the Australian capital came to be in Canberra, a planned city in the interior instead of in Melbourne, the country's largest city, or Sydney, its oldest. There you go. So basically, <laughs> Sydney went, I want to be the capital. Melbourne went, I want to be the capital. And people went, we, neither of you can be the capital. We'll build a new capital. It's a planned capital, a planned city. Monique, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Just like two Look kids squabbling, like isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Me, me, me. No, no. <laughs> Neither of you can have the toy. I'm going to put it away in the cupboard. <laughs> okay, Rima. Oh, any questions? Perfectly read, by the way. Perfectly read. Well done. Any questions? Uh, what do you mean by saying... It doesn't exist. That the plant bear and not exist doesn't exist? It didn't exist. No. It was planned. Oh, tough guys here. <laughs> A bit late, tough guy. Okay. In fact, I th I can't remember when it um um when it when it celebrated. I think it had its centenary um hmm, in the last few years. I can't say when. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was just this tiny little place in the middle of Australia, and uh, because it was more central. Um, it, they just basically decided to design a new capital, okay? And built on Aboriginal land, of course. But now everything uh, about government is there then, like uh, Downing Street then, for example. Well, they're equivalent of, yes. <laughs> I believe so, I believe so. But yes, that's where the government is based, okay? Hi, tough guy. Okay, Rima, if you'd like to read this text. Okay. Uh, Australia has only been a united country since uh, 1901, when six individual British colonies came together. They representatives in the, in the Commonwealth Parliament had to decide which city to make the capital, but they couldn't agree. Melbourne and Sydney were, were already very strong rivals. Each had its supporters and neither was willing to have the capital in the other city. Okay, so no compromise. Rivalry, no negotiation, no compromise. I don't care where it is as long as it's not with them. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, you are a bit late, I'm afraid, but that's life. I'm afraid you're only going to get a few minutes, so... <laughs> I, in what way do you mean I'm kind right. of right, Shiny? What do you mean I'm kind of right? Uh, you asked us before that what would uh, Sini think about the... I thought about the, 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 the advertisement Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> We're better than you. <laughs> Absolutely. Could do better. April, you were saying something? 
uh, this Commonwealth Parliament, they, do they, uh, they mean that uh, in England, in Great Britain, or in... Oh, that was very, uh, very difficult. It was, the Commonwealth Parliament was, because they were, well, they still are part of the Commonwealth. Some people want to get rid, um, and God knows we're going to probably end up with a Commonwealth Party again, the way England is going out of Brexit. They'll probably try and develop a, they tried that before, it failed, but I, I can imagine somebody trying to build a Commonwealth Party again. Um, but yeah, the Commonwealth Parliament would be each state having its own representatives. I think it was a little bit like a movable feast. They met in different places, but they wanted a, a centralised government to become a nation, an independent nation, OK? It's all about politics. Yeah, but this course. is in 1900, please. Yeah. So. But before that, they were just colonies. New South Wales, Victoria. They were just British colonies. Sorry, sorry you know, penal colonies, so, colonies some of them still. <laughs> The the history of Australia is quite um yeah, it's it's not a shining light into the Great Britain people are taught. Okay, so um who just read Rima? April, if you'd like to because we'll need to finish in a minute. Uh, if you'd like to read this Oh no, hang on. Ignore that. It hasn't copied. Okay, that one. <laughs> okay. The decision was therefore ma made to build a new capital between the two cities and even to create a separate state for it, the Australian Capital Territory. As a compromise, the land was to be taken from New South Wales while Melbourne would serve as a temporary seat of government until the new capital was finished. Okay, so can you imagine? You can imagine the negotiating table, can't you? Well, we'll take, okay, we'll take, we'll take the land, we'll, we'll build it there. Oh, but that's in New South Wales. Okay, well, we'll call it something else. <laughs> You can't build it in New South Wales. Well, we'll take it and we'll call it something else. Oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> I'd love to have been a fly on the wall at those, at those negotiations. Okay, Trow, if you'd like any, if there are no questions. And notice to make a decision. The decision was therefore made. They made a decision. That's just in the passive. Yeah, the decision was made to do this. It doesn't actually say who made the decision. <laughs> okay, Traum? Yeah, okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> in 1908, a general decision was made on where to build the city and surveyor Charles Scrivener was sent out to choose the exact location. He was told he was told to judge to judge sites from a scenic standpoint 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 with a view to securing the pictures queue and with the object of beautification. Beautification. Well done, well done. I'm sorry you got this one. It's nasty. It's actually picturesque. 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 Yeah, if something is picturesque, it's nice to look at, like a picture. Yeah, picturesque. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, that's kind of interesting. That will lead on to next week's session when we're going to look at the capital in a bit more detail and what people actually think of it. I mean, this was a big decision uh, to make. You know, where we imagine if you if your country were to have to make that decision today and it, think about it. It's happened recently. Germany. Uh, Germany moved capitals. You know, people think capitals are capitals, they'll always be capitals. But no, when you have a new country formed or a new region formed, where is the capital going to be? And if a capital no longer serves its function, 
What about moving it? There is talk, now it's only talk, about moving the capital of the UK. That London is no longer fit for purpose. Can you imagine? And which city will be? Uh, well, building. people want it more in the middle, so in the Midlands. I think Nottingham would be good. <laughs> Not going to happen. People are talking <laughs> yes, about Manchester. <laughs> well, it's no good for me. If, even if it was, I don't own property in Nottingham. So, But my goodness, if I did, the property prices would go through the roof. <laughs> um, yeah, in, in, in just after the war, the capital of, Ber of Germany was indeed... Um, Bonn, okay, and uh, it's still called a federal city, a Bundesstadt, but of course they moved it to, back to Berlin, which had been pre-war the capital of Germany, okay, so, you de well, who would have thought that the Germans would say, no, we want the capital back in Berlin, who would have thought that, I didn't think they'd do that, because it was a little bit like looking at the world through old eyes, but they did it, now poor old Bonn lost all its, um, Kudos. And it's happened before. And when it's happened before, it will happen again. There's a list on Wikipedia of former uh, former um, capitals. OK, lots in Africa and Asia, uh, lots in India, Southeast Asia, uh, East Asia and even Northern Europe. OK, so don't think it's never going to happen. Southern Europe as well. Borders are fluid. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't checked this for veri verification or for, uh, you know, Wikipedia, you always have to double check the facts there, but there's the list. Okay. Often these changes are brought about by political turmoil or war upheaval, etc., Yeah, I think it was Kyoto uh, in Japan and then it became Tokyo. But Shiny's gone away. OK, so we'll leave it there for this week. And next week we're going to listen to some people talking about this um, and also the idea of moving down under. Um, so... You're all undecided, so maybe after next week you can make a decision again as to whether you would move to Australia. I'm going to stick with no. <laughs> but maybe next week we can but carry on. But they make on. it so difficult. In, uh, ah, well, we'll Australia talk about that as well. Difficult. We'll talk about that as well, okay? Even from people from Great Britain, it's not that easy to move, nope. really move. So... Uh, Immigrants, yeah, as yeah, immigrants. To immigrate, yeah, to emigrate, yeah. All sorts of reasons. But, but um, and it, in the past, it was much easier. In fact, people were paid to go out there in the past from the UK. Um, I lost my best friend at school, never recovered. I never recovered after that. I, I didn't want any more besties after that. I was heartbroken. I lost my bestie because <laughs> their parents were paid to move to Australia. They got a much better life out there. Unfortunately, we lost touch but that's life um but um yeah they they moved they didn't want to stay in the uk and yet loads of people want to go to the uk it's funny world isn't it <laughs> my best so are. that's the reason so that's the reason why you don't want to go there no 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 that's not the reason <laughs> i didn't kidding. want to go there then don't want to go there now no oh, i might want to go there just to find her you never know i might find her <laughs> no don't um never go back always go forward but uh the yeah that the whole idea of moving is uh, it's a difficult one because i have emigrated i have left my homeland and moved to another country and i've been here for a very long time i can't imagine going back now um but i might have to <laughs> two years time <laughs> ouch okay so on that note, I think that would be the end of the Learn English Network, you know. I don't think I'd have time to run the network if I was in the UK. Far too much to do in the UK. So boring in Germany. <laughs> you better hope it doesn't happen. <laughs> then stay in Germany. <laughs>
<laughs> you have to tell your governments. You've got to give England a good deal and make sure that the English can just move around as freely as they want to. <laughs> OK, so anyway, thank you so much for coming. I'll be on. Um, there is a session uh, on Webinar Jam in half an hour today. There's also a session later with Marion. Yes, there are two sessions coming up. Oh. Yeah, I know. So, uh, what time? Let me check my calendar. <laughs> ah, it was just, you know what I was just about to say, <laughs> don't you? I just woke up. <laughs> Let me check. Oh, okay. <laughs> it. Huh? Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. So, in the, if you're in the in the wars group, you don't have to ask to be added. But I'll make sure after the uh, webinar jam, I pop into Skype just to make sure everybody's uh, in the group if they want to be in it. Okay. Yeah. Always check the calendar. <laughs> calendar. Calendar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take care then, and I'll see you next Thank time. Thank you. Bye. Th thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Bye. You later. <laughs> but this was, I just found this stuff and I was like, oh no, this is too good. I need to uh, include this in, in our so session on Australia. It's too funny. Which, 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 what, 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 Rima? <laughs> it is no need to promise us it's so funny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny, no. okay. No funny need, or no fun? Need to stop. <laughs> Yeah, we'll Fine. run out. We'll run out of stuff to say eventually, unless Zom <laughs> comes okay. to rescue us. <laughs> okay, okay, so okay. shiny. Here's your little bit of text. If you'd like to start reading. In corner, we have Sydney, the capital city of New South Wales. In the other corner is Melbourne, the capital of Victoria the rivalry between the, the Australian cities is intense, intense, and it's going to intensify because a new report suggests that the Victorian metropolis will overtake, overtake its more famous New South Wales counterpart as Australia's largest city by 2040 very good well done okay so it's not metropolis there's no police well there are probably police there but it's metropolis um, a mattress flew away from that truck and just uh, uh, fall, uh, fell no fall fell just fell uh, in front of his bike and uh, that way that uh, uh, he fell because uh, he couldn't uh, uh, drive uh, further on. But luckily, because of the mattress, flew off the track, yeah? because of the mattress, he fell on the mattress. And that way, he didn't hurt himself, only uh, some scratches. But uh, luckily, it was not that uh busy that that crowded the, uh, that tunnel because it was a, a, actually a, a, a motorway and uh, no no car just uh, uh, behind him it is was uh, quite further and uh, that person stopped uh, his car and helped him otherwise the other cars couldn't stop uh, luckily that that uh, car could stop uh, in time just uh, to uh, to avoid uh, worse things happen, but it was so funny watching that uh, mattress flew off, <laughs> flew off the truck and just in front of him, and <laughs> and he fell just on the mat. Okay, so uh, welcome to let's talk about it. We're going to stay in um, Australia, well, geographically down under today. And um, hopefully you will be able to hear my voice in this session, <laughs> in the stream anyway. I Honestly, 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 to people who contacted me about the stream from yesterday's session, everybody here could hear me. It's just it didn't carry across 
into the stream. So I'm sorry if you were disappointed, but you can hear, you can listen to April and Monique and Marco and <laughs> everybody else who spoke yesterday. It's just you won't hear me, which some people might think bonus. <laughs> April, you just mentioned you'd watched a funny video about Melbourne. No, actually, it's not really funny, funny for me, but not for that person who were in the clips. It, was, it happened in Melbourne, uh, in the traffic. Uh, he was on the motor, on the motorbike, on the motorbike, and uh, he r rode uh, in, the, in the tunnel. And uh, in front of him, it was a, a, a truck. And uh, said a, a truck fo uh, full with uh, everything, maybe somebody who is uh, moving house. And uh, suddenly... Uh, Rivalry and to be rivals. Yeah, well done, Rima. Yes, Melbourne and Sydney. Not Sydney. They might sound like it's Sydney. <laughs> Where do you come from? Sydney. <laughs> but it's Sydney. <laughs> and it's actually with a Y. Sorry, Monique. So with an I, Sydney is an old fashioned kind of name. In fact, I don't know any Sydneys. I don't know one Sydney, but I know it was a name once. But Sydney the place, because it's often um, shortened to Sid. OK, but Sydney the place is with a Y at the beginning and the end. So it's, yeah, that's a difficult one. Okay, so I need some readers and you all pretty much arrived at once. I think Shiny, you were already here though. So I will ask you, if can you read today, Shiny? I heard your voice earlier, but are you okay to read today? Yes, yes. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, we're going to look at a little bit at the historic rivalry between Sydney and Melbourne, uh, some of the consequences of that. And also we're going to have a listen to a couple of people talking about Down Under, okay? Um, so we'll see how far we get. If we don't finish, we'll carry on next week. And then I promise you we'll be done with Down Under. <laughs> That's <what I> said. <laughs> Perfect, uh, what we call a soft landing. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, not, not nice, landing. still not nice, losing control of your bike. Um, yeah, be careful, of, he rode in a tunnel. Um, he was in a tunnel, but he rode into the tunnel. There's a slight difference between in and into, okay? Um, so, yeah, no, I, I don't tend to watch videos like that because of my history. I don't like accidents. And there's lots of television programmes on, though, that will show videos, I think it's called Dogs Make You Laugh Out Loud, Cats Make You Laugh Out Loud, Babies Make You Laugh Out Loud, and uh, weddings make, you, normally it's people falling over at weddings and stuff. <laughs> Do you watch a lot of those kind of videos, April? Come on, be honest. <laughs> no, no, no. no it, was, it was actually not in YouTube, it was in the news, So, and uh, the title was quite... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, I'll let you so off that's then. why I think, oh, what is it? Yeah, it makes you curious, actually. Yeah, we do yeah. say it was on the news. Sorry. In, on, into, in. Oh, prepositions. No. Sorry, money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scream. <laughs> okay, today we're going to um, talk about rivalry down under and there's rivalry within Australia between two major cities. Any idea which two major cities are considered real rivals? So